Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'll be bringing you a full Berghaus air shelter review. So this is the Berghaus air shelter in its bag next to the air porch and our air six. So if you'd like to see the air shelter set up and tested in all weather conditions, just carry on watching. The air shelter is super easy to inflate. With its single beam inflation point, you just take it out the bag, attach the pump and you're ready to go. And as with all the air shelter range, remember to push the valve out for air in and in for air out. Connect your pump and inflate to around seven PSI. You can inflate a little bit less than this if the weather isn't windy, but we tend to inflate between six and a half and seven just to be on the safe side. Now, once the air shelter is inflated, you may need a little help getting the air shelter into position on your own. We had our lovely helper, Mike, AKA Heos Keith. Before plugging the air shelter into place, just make sure that you're happy with where the windows are positioned or where the ventilated sides are positioned, depending on how and where you are pitched. Each corner of the shelter has an anchor point and a guy rope. Secure these and you're good to go. So the air shelter has two clear windows and two ventilated mesh windows. These also have a privacy curtain to all four sides. So in the evening, this gives you privacy and will keep the heat in. What we love about the shelter is the ventilated sides as you can sit inside here to eat and be protected from flies and mosquitoes and especially wasps. And on a really sunny day like today, you can also have the air shelter with all four sides fully open, which gives you more space and a lot of ventilation. So the air shelter doesn't actually include a ground sheet, but what we do is use the porch ground sheet if the ground is muddy underneath. The air shelter is the perfect day tent or cooking or eating shelter and inside there is two meters of standing room. The air shelter also has the addition of two skylights which is great for adding more light into your shelter when cooking or entertaining. So this was our shelter set up in Devon for our two week holiday. We just use this as an eating area. We had our kitchen unit in here and our dining table and we ran the electric in here as well so we could use the kettle, toaster. This gave us a lot more room in our tent and we could keep our camp chairs in here during the day and the evening. We purchased these canopy poles from Go Outdoors for about £11. This was great because you didn't have to keep zipping open the front door of the shelter all the time. So unfortunately, the last few days of our holiday, we were hit by a storm. This started off as a rainstorm, which wasn't too bad. And as you can see, the shelter coped really well. There were no leaks, no drips. All seams on the air shelter are fully taped and it has a hydrostatic head of 6,000.
and just as we thought the storm was passing we were then hit by 80 mile an hour winds now that was pretty scary As it was the night before last of our holiday, we decided to take the shelter down just to avoid any damage. But we don't think it would have actually got damaged. It did stand up really well in the storm. Also, people do ask, would you recommend the shelter over the porch? Well, in our personal opinion, the porch is a great addition to the tent and the shelter is an added bonus but if you didn't want to buy the porch the shelter is very versatile you can have it pitched quite close to your tent so it would also act as a porch but it wouldn't be sealed like the porch so that is it for my Berghaus air shelter review I do hope you've enjoyed it and it has give you an insight into the shelter's features and how it stands up in different weather conditions I definitely recommend buying one they are available from Millets or Blacks and they range between 249 to 200 pounds if you can get a good offer so make sure you keep an eye out for those 